Anga Index GHI Annual Report for 2019. GHI is a tool designed to measure and track hunger at global, regional, and national levels to assess the progress and setbacks in combating hunger while also revealing the hungriest country in the world. According to the report, Kenya is ranked at position 86 out of a total of 117, and this clearly indicates serious need to curb food insecurity in the country in line with the Big Four agenda. Today we are launching this uh, Global Hunger Index. This report gives very important data about the, uh, the hunger situation in this country. Uh, we are learning that uh, out of 117 countries, we are number 86. That is not a very good number. But uh, in the ministry, we are taking this with stride because we understand the challenges that are facing us and uh, we are taking um, different strategies to be able to narrow that gap of hunger in this country. Dr. Magenya further said the government is very keen on mitigating strategies to curb food insecurity nationally, especially global warming and climate change. Previously we've been uh, using the NCPB and the government to, pro to procure fertilizer, but now it will be, it is being transited to the e voucher system. We have a big project in the ministry funded by the World Bank on a climate smart agricultural project. And that is working with the farmers to be able to develop interventions that, use, that farmers will use to adopt or to mitigate the effects of climate change, and particularly in the dry areas of this country, where, I mean, you know, Kenya is 80%. Calvin Shingles agrees that Kenya has got very good gains and policies to ensure there is food security and nutrition in Kenya, but false implementation strategies. Um, Kenya has made some um, improvements over the years. Uh, the report has taken statistics way back from the year 2000 right up to the present day. So we can see improvements in regard to food security. We can see improvements in regard to um, children's status when it comes to wasting or stunting. Um, the big issue for Kenya though is the undernourishment and I think in the report you can see that it was highlighted that over 26% of um, Kenyans are actually undernourished, meaning that they don't get access to quantities of food, don't get access to the variety of foods that actually is required to have a healthy uh, lifestyle. Noting some of the challenges that have been highlighted by the Global Hunger Index, Calvin reveals the way forward to curbing food insecurity among the most vulnerable and marginalized communities for a world without hunger. But there are very good policies that are in place, regulations that are in place. Uh, the gap that um, I believe is that uh, those policies now need to filter down through to county government, uh, need to filter down to respective communities, and for communities also to understand what their right is to food um, and to be able to advocate for that as well. This corruption thing is eaten into us. Kenya is one of the most taxed countries in the world, yet very few people on the ground see what the taxes do. There is the Big Four agenda, there is a commitment from government. Uhuru Kenyatta has um, uh, itemised food and nutrition as being um, a pillar that needs to be supported and I think there is uh, policies in place, there is directives in place. The only problem we see now is having that filtered down uh, through to communities, through to county government structures that they're able to support their people and that households are informed on what their right to foods are to food is as well.